So I think what's interesting about that um, is that you, you do this Archie stuff, and then I think as, as open-minded as they are, then it sort of makes sense that you were kind of on the ground floor with Black Mask, another company that I think is like very open-minded in the ideas and the kind of stories that they pursue. Yeah, yeah. Um, my book through a uh, weird shipping error, The Twelve Reasons to Die, yeah. uh, is the first Black Mass title. Um, it was supposed to be the first issue of their anthology, Occupy Comics, um, which was a charity fundraiser for uh, Occupy movement related causes and was awesome. But there was a delay in their issues to Twelve Reasons to Die. So, like, I was the first book there. Um, and yeah, I mean, I love Black Mask. I think they're. Uh, the future of comics. I think they're looking really hard to do good work that other people wouldn't do and to expand readership and to expand the voices in comics. And like, I think those things are intrinsically connected, obviously, but they just really want to push boundaries in every direction and, and open comics up in a way that uh, other people aren't doing. I think comics for a long time had a real period of playing it safe and being pretty conservative in its storytelling and and pretty restrictive in in who could come in and t make mainstream comics. And Black Mask is like uh, it's a small, it's a boutique publisher. It's really small, but the creators all know each other. We're, we are like as cliche as it sounds. It's it's like a family. Like we get on a panel and people are always like. You know, there's not questions prepared when you go to a comic con on a black mass panel because they know we're all just going to like talk and joke around, and it seems really awful to us on stage that people sit and watch it. But it, but but people like it. It's the it's this or seem to, it's this sort of camaraderie. But like, you know, you have uh, you know trans writers and and women of color and and uh, queer writers and. You know, just a, a such a broad, broad spectrum of of different voices. It's just such an inclusive company. But like beyond that, they're making awesome books that like <clears throat> I think other people, other publishers just miss. Um, they're just and and you see it because now all these people like uh, um, Mags Visaggio, who writes Kim and Kim, is like blowing up and doing great work. Uh, all, all the team who make black, like they're, you know, that book is doing huge and, and people are noticing them. And it, it goes all the way down, like Tony Patrick, who writes X, like is going on to do stuff. And uh, I mean, it's just everyone who comes through Black Mass, sort of, it's a launching pad for them. And that's awesome. I've always been one of those people who's like, wants to track backwards in people's careers and be like, where did this person start? What's their early stuff like? Like, how did they get in? And, and, for me, it's always funny because Black Mask is going to be that for so many people. Like, it's so many people's first book or one of the earliest books. And it's, uh, you know, I just tell people, like, if you care about that stuff, if you care about, like, who the next, the future of comics is, like, it's the Black Mask roster for sure. Mm -hmm.